final question. Um, we've we've touched on this a bit, but I'm going to ask you directly. Um, you know what? Why do you invest your your time, your money, your self into breast cancer action? Yeah, I do it for a whole host of reasons. Um, one being, I know we've talked a little bit about it before, but I invest um, time and money um, into breast cancer action because of community, um, because I really see this organization as um, a center for so many different things, um, information that um, can really help um, our patients, caregivers, um, and the like when it comes to um, the latest breast cancer research, um, especially when it comes to treatment and screening. Um, I also think about not only community, but policy, you know, who is really doing the work on the policy front um, to move the needle forward in terms of eliminating breast cancer disparities. And Breast Cancer Action is one of those organizations who uh, is, is having the hard conversations, um, are amplifying, I think, the right messaging um and tackling the right bullies um to um, push us forward in the in the policy space um so when i think about um an organization that um i see as being bold and you got my favorite word forward thinking um and pushing the movement forward um, I think about breast cancer action and I can't think of um, a better organization um, to invest in when it comes to um, leading the fight uh, against breast cancer. How about you, Stacey? Yeah, I think what I love about breast cancer is action. <laughs> I don't love anything about breast cancer. <laughs> I do love breast cancer action. Um, <laughs> One of the things I love about Breast Cancer Action is that, um, yeah, we're small and mighty. Um, uh, the team, the staff, the leadership uh, have a really tight political analysis of, of what we need to do. And importantly, um, with that real intersectional lens where, um, you know, we're not just looking at breast cancer, but we're looking at how different groups of people who may be marginalized in the system in various ways, like let's center their experiences. Um, and let's, let's think about how to tackle this in a way that is inclusive of everyone, because, um, you know, we all have such different, um, experiences, you know, like, uh, I do a lot of work in jails and prisons and, um, you know, the whole time I was going through treatment, I, I think, oh my God, like, this is really hard with an apartment and health insurance and ability to cook for myself. Like, I can't even imagine like how someone who's locked up might have to go through this. Right. And, and so, really thinking about how we solve this, how we beat this crisis, um, not only from our own perspectives, but also inclusive of and thinking alongside um, folks who um, just are having very different experiences and usually um, way worse than, than I, at least speaking for myself that than I had. And so um, I love that Breast Cancer Action is, is doing that. Um, and if I could, I'd give them all the time and all the money <laughs> I have because I really, um, I really have a lot of hope uh, that an investment in breast cancer action is an investment in 
a better world, a world that is focused on health and wellness and universality of those things, right? Everyone has the right to live healthy, a healthy life. Everyone has the right to be well and free of cancer. And I don't know how we're going to get there, but I know the breast cancer action is going to be part of that um, solution. And that's why um, I give and 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 why I hope that this Giving Tuesday, as we go into this um, holiday season, um, this season of giving, um, I hope that others of you uh, watching this video out in the world um, consider giving uh, your dollars or your time or even your eyeballs um, on Insta and all those other places uh, to Breast Cancer Action. We need all of us in this movement. Um, we need all of us to be informed. Um, and so we we just really hope uh, everyone joins us.